Why, hello everybody. Welcome to my newsletter for this month, which is like astronomically late, which is something I wanted to talk about later on. I just decided to record a video because I feel like I have been trying to change the way that I like meaningfully communicate with people, or not just like with people in general, but like in my art. And, you know, I'm always finding ways to make my art more accessible and, like, exploratory. And I've always wanted to do, like, a video component. And I don't think I'm going to do this every month. But I'm definitely, like, last night I was having, like, sort of a, I don't want to say a mental breakdown, but just sort of a mental crisis where I was like, I don't want to do this newsletter. But it's because I felt like I didn't have anything to say, which I'm going to get into a little bit later. So, hopefully... What's going to happen with this is that it's going to be a video component to the newsletter. You can always scroll down and read and um, entertain yourselves that way. But I figured, like, not everybody likes to read, so I thought, like, a, maybe a video component would be helpful. Let me know if you like it. Let me know what you think. I'm just trying it out this month. So, yeah. So, if you're new to the newsletter, I usually organize it in three sections. The first one is thinky thoughts, the looks, and art and media I've been loving. This is kind of like what I wanted to get down and talk to this month. I just didn't feel like I had anything to talk about for this month's newsletter. In retrospect, I actually had a lot to talk about, but because I was mentally going through so many like confusing things, I was like, I don't really feel like I have a lot to talk about because I'm not creating right now because I'm going through this mental thing. And usually I'm the type of creator that like creates things just out of the blue like I'll be in the shower and I'm like oh I have an idea like I want to create this but I've never experienced like creating something that illustrates a particular thing that I went through and this month I went through a lot of imposter syndrome because as y'all know I'm applying for med school right now I'm also applying for a Fulbright fellowship I like I'm applying for jobs for post-graduation just all kinds of things and when you're applying and constantly having to like say why you deserve a spot Proving yourself gets you into like this weird mindset, or at least it has for me. It's gotten me into this weird mindset where I'm just like, like it's really weird having to say why you deserve a spot in like a company or like why you deserve a certain fellowship for your research or like just having to say like I deserve this because here's why you should give me money or here's why you should um, consider my research. And I know my research is good. I know I'm a completely competent person. But it's still, like, very difficult to step outside of yourself and really think of yourself in such a way that's like, okay. When you apply for things, you're sort of blurring the line between trying to seem candid, like, still show your full self. Because, you know, sometimes they'll ask you about, like, where you've messed up and, like, your shortcomings. And then also, like, trying to show that you are capable. Something that I suffer with a lot is anxiety. And I'm just like, I would never put that on an application. So it's definitely... I know it sounds weird, like, applying for things is, like, something that I've been struggling with, but it's more so that I've just been applying over and over and having to step outside of myself and, like, reflect so much and assess if I've done enough in the past, like, three and a half years that I've been in college, and, like, it's been a lot for me, so, um, yeah. <laughs> in the looks section... I usually, in the section, talk about things that I've been, like, buying and, like, wearing, um, but this month I have been so into decor because I have this theory where you need to like make your space cozy, make it fit like the type of vibes for lack of better words that you want. And I'm just a big believer in your environment or your productivity reflecting your environment. I'm a huge believer in that, which is why if I'm gonna get a rug, I'm gonna get a nice rug if I have the means. I'm gonna get a nice rug that when I step out of my bed every morning, I'm gonna feel like I'm walking on a cloud because that's what makes me feel good. I live in a world that tells me that I'm not supposed to feel good. So obviously I'm going to treat myself. And that's like my version of self-care, just getting really nice things for myself so that I can make my life more functional and more productive. Like the other day I just got a lap desk and it is like my favorite thing that I own right now because I just get to sit in bed and be cozy and do work. Like. It literally makes me want to do the work. So I definitely recommend that. Oh, if you know any um, ceramics pages on Instagram that are just like pottery made by black women and stuff, I would love to have that in my room. It's 
I'm really into ceramics right now. I'm not really sure why, but yeah, I, I literally went to Ikea the other day with my friend Alex and got like new curtains. I got this utility cart right here so I can put all of my um, like books on instead of just the shelf. It's fantastic. So I have it written down on my phone. Um, I have been loving podcasts because I'm realizing that there's a podcast for literally everything. When I was in seventh grade, not even seventh grade, I feel like I was like in fifth grade, I read this book series called The Click and like it was about like these mean girls, I don't know, it was just like what I was into and there is literally a podcast in which they like dissect like intellectual theory for each book and it is the most entertaining thing I've experienced in a long time and y'all know that I love like assigning intellectual theory to like places where it doesn't belong like in the past like I've, I've had a lot of tweets about it which I think is really funny and this whole podcast is centered on that premise and I love that so much um I also have been listening to these two podcasts from people that I follow on Twitter the first one's called we don't bite podcast by I'm sure you've seen her before Shania or makeup by Shania and um Afia her friend on Twitter I mean she's not just defined by being uh, Shania's friend but you know what I mean like they're friends and their podcast is really funny and interesting because Afia's Ganyan, I'm Ganyan, and they're just like really real. There's no structure, which I appreciate. Um, another podcast that I've been really loving is the um, One and a Half Lesbian podcast by at Namaste Woke on Twitter and their friend Adriana, I think. But it's so funny. It's called One and a Half Lesbian. It's literally just gay centered and it's like probably the best thing I've ever um, loved. So yeah, that's um, everything this month. Um, if you want to learn more about everything that I just said, feel free to scroll through the newsletter. But I'm really excited to hear you guys' feedback on all of this. And y'all be good. Have a good rest of your month. I'm definitely going to do another newsletter slash update in, what's the next month? October? Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm super excited. And I would love to hear back from you guys like in every email and like write back if you want because I genuinely do want to like hear you guys thoughts on the things that I've been saying. So y'all be safe and stay indoors and see y'all later.